Hello everyone, welcome back to Math at School. In this very short video, I'm going to show you what you can do with this absolute value sign within an equation that looks like this. So let's go. I have negative absolute value of 18 minus 12 multiplied by 2 is equal to 3x. Now, I do not have x within the expression of absolute value, so I'm not going to call this an absolute value equation. But regardless, you need to know what to do um, about this absolute value sign in an operation. So I'm going to show you step by step. So I have negative absolute value of 18 minus 12 times 2 is equal to 3x. So before doing anything, I'm going to solve the operation that's within this absolute value sign first. So I'm going to circle this and rewrite it. 18 minus 12 times 2. Now, according to the order of operations or the rule of PEMDAS, we need to deal with multiplication first before we deal with this subtraction because multiplication is situated right here before subtraction, which is situated in the last um, word. So let's go ahead and solve the multiplication first, and that's 12 times 2, which is equal to 24. So if I were to rewrite it, I have, I can replace 12 times 2 with 24. So if I rewrite it, I have 18 minus 24, and that's equal to negative 6. Meaning I can replace this, this um, expression with negative 6 and put that in, inside the absolute value bracket instead of these numbers here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to replace these numbers with negative 6 and rewrite the whole expression. Now, the absolute value by definition means um, whatever number you have within the absolute value, it's going to lose its sign. So negative 6 here is going to become just 6 with the absolute value sign. So that means I can replace this expression with 6, right? Because absolute value of negative 6 is equal to 6. So if I rewrite the whole thing um, by replacing six, uh, absolute value of negative 6 with 6, I have negative 6 is equal to 3x. And since I do not like having the unknown variable of x on the right side of the equation, I'm going to switch places. 3x is equal to negative 6. And if I isolate the variable of x, I'm going to be done. And I can do that by dividing both sides with the coefficient of x, which is 3. I can cross cancel that and end up with x is equal to negative 6 divided by 3, which is equal to negative 2. And this question is done solve, uh, is done. Now, if you'd like more um, video solutions and practice problems done by me, you can visit my website at method.school. And if you liked this video, or if this video helped you in any way, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening to my video, and I'll see you guys in another more helpful video later on. Thank you!